hundred. Good morning. Um, this is Chris St. Tumians. I'm the zoning administrator and it's 1030 AM and I'm calling this meeting of the zoning administrator to order. The first item of business is approval of minutes. Um, we have approval of August uh, 3rd, 2023, August 17, 2023 and October 5th, 2023 draft minutes. And there are no, um, I don't see any uh, Change, uh, need for any changes to those minutes. So the minutes for the August 3rd, August 17th, and October 5th are approved as submitted. The next item is public comment. So uh, we are now taking public comments on non-agenda matters. This is a time when any person may address matters not listed on this agenda, but which are within the subject matter jurisdiction of the zoning administrator. So if you have any questions or any comments uh, about items that are not on the, on the agenda, you may do so now. Perfect. All right. Okay. So seeing, uh, seeing note that there are no public comments, we'll move on to the statement of purpose. The zoning administrator is appointed by the planning and economic development director and has a responsibility and authority to conduct public meetings and hearings and to act on application, applications for minor or reduced review authority projects or entitlements. Determination or decision by the zoning administrator may be appealed to the design review board, cultural heritage board, planning commission, or city council as applicable to the design or to the, to the decision. All actions taken by the zoning administrator may be appealed within 10 calendar days, but the final day of the appeal period falls on a non-business day. The appeal period will be extended to the next business day. There are no consent items, so we'll move on to the first scheduled item, which is item um, 6.1. Ms. Hartman. Thank you, Zoning Administrator Tumians. I, staff is requesting that this item be postponed to a date uncertain. Thank you, Ms. Hartman. Will the item be re-noticed? Yes. Okay. So, um, are there any public comments for item 6.1, which was a new fence within front and corner side setbacks at 3496 Spring Creek Drive, file number CUP 22-065? So seeing none, I'll close the public comment. Um, the zoning administrator um, deems the item continue to a date uncertain. Thank, Thank you, Ms. Hartman. Moving on to item 6.2, public meeting Tesla vehicle storage at 3300 and 3304 Industrial Drive, file numbers PRJ 23-005. Project planner is Ms. Amy Nicholson. Thank you, Zoning Administrator Tumians. Let me pull up the presentation. <laughs> Okay, so as, um, as you mentioned, the item before you this morning is for Tesla vehicle storage. The uh, project consists of two different planning entitlements or applications. One is a minor conditional use permit to allow the vehicle storage use, and the other is minor design review, um, which covers the improvements to the site. The site is about 1.28 acres, and improvements consist of paving and striping, the installation of a wrought iron fence, landscaping, and also lighting. This slide shows the um, site and surrounding area. Um, 
can see that the site consists of two parcels denoted by the orange star and has frontage on both industrial drive and center drive. Um, the site is located within um, a primarily uh, industrial area. There are some um, commercial type businesses as well. And um, as you can see, um, very few of the sites are undeveloped, um, but the site uh, is one of them. And I would point out that um, to the east on Airway Drive, there is um, the existing Tesla Sales and Service Center office. The slide here shows the general plan land use and zoning for the project site. So the general plan sets out um, a vision for how certain parcels within the city are to be developed. Uh, in this case, the site is envisioned to be developed with a light industry land use and zoning is consistent with that land use. So um, again, vehicle storage is um, considered a light industrial type use. And so this project is consistent with both the general plan and zoning. I just have two slides here uh, which show some plans and I'm happy to walk through them in more detail if you would like. This slide shows the um, <clears throat> landscape plans. So you can see that um, there are uh, a number of trees proposed in addition to shrubs and ground cover, primarily along the street frontages to help screen the site. And then there are a total of 124 uh, marked spaces. And again, this is for the storage of Tesla vehicles. Uh, these plans also show the uh, installation of uh, like freestanding light fixtures. And so those are scattered around the perimeter of the site. Here's that there is a slide missing from this. Um, the other slide showed, um, let me just back out for a second because I'm not sure if this is a different version of the presentation, but there should be one with elevations for the fence. Apologies. So this slide here shows the um, proposed wrought iron fence and it is um, eight feet tall um, and it would <clears throat> surround the site. Uh, the two points of ingress egress off of center and off of industrial would have uh, rolling gates as noted here on the elevation. This is the landscape plan that I already spoke about. Um, so again, the project does require two different planning entitlements. Uh, this slide reflects the findings that are required for a conditional use permit. Um, in this case, it is a minor conditional use permit. Um, these findings primarily are focused on compatibility with um, the surrounding area. So um, would the use fit in um, with what's already there or what could potentially be there in the future? And the draft resolution before you um, provides additional detail on each of these findings and staff um, has no um, concerns about the compatibility of this use. This slide shows the required findings for the minor design review entitlement. And this focuses on really the design and if the design is compatible with what's there or what could be there. Um, and again, staff can make each of these findings. The project has been reviewed in compliance with the California Environmental Quality Act and has been found to be categorically exempt. Uh, this is pursuant to the infill exemption, which is CEQA guideline section 15332. So there are a number of criteria which must be met in order for a project to qualify for this exemption. Um, these are detailed more in the resolutions. Um, but essentially the, the site is less than five acres and it's surrounded by urban uses and 
um, staff has found that there would be no significant impacts related to rare, threatened, or endangered species, traffic, air quality, water quality, or noise. And this project, um, or I should say this public meeting, was noticed uh, to property owners and tenants within 600 feet of the site, and we have not received any public comments. There have been, um, there were a number of, I don't want to say issues, but items worked through throughout the uh, development review process, um, namely the, the fence design um, and also the, uh, including a landscape plan. Um, so as of now, there are no unresolved issues. And therefore, it is recommended by the planning and economic development department that the zoning administrator approve a minor conditional use permit and minor design review to allow the development of a 1.28 acre site with a vehicle storage use at 3300 and 3304 Industrial Drive. That concludes my presentation and I'm happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Ms. Nicholson. Is the applicant or property owner here and wishing to speak? I'm the owner um, applicant and um, no, it sounds like we're all in order. With uh, all our responses, I think we uh, did a timely matter and uh, got your approval on it. So, and there's a is there anyone else from the public wishing to make a statement or ask a question? Um, I did, if I may. Oh, yeah. I I noticed just a kind of a technical um, thing that I think we should fix on the minor conditional use permit resolution. So in the title, it says to allow outdoor storage. Um, I think it should say vehicle storage, um, which is its own land use and that's itemized kind of throughout the resolution below, but I just wanted to say that for the record. Um, and, yes, I think that's it. Okay. Well, the zoning administrator finds that the use is appropriate for the site and the project site has been designed with um, attractive features that include landscaping and the nice wrought iron fence. So with that, um, the zoning administrator moves to approve the use permit and design review for Tesla vehicle storage of uh, file number ERJ 23-005 located at 3300 and 3304 Industrial Drive. Uh, with that, there are no other items on the agenda and uh, no other business uh, for the zoning administrators. So the zoning administrator deems the meeting a check. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.